so I tend to use the 3D characters a lot. But it, I'm recording this for National Bobblehead Day, so this can be fun as well. There's an easy way to make bobbleheads in Create Studio, and I made one for my father for Father's Day with my siblings in it, and he really enjoyed it. So I thought I would show you how to do this. I used, as you can see, characters from Create Studio, but I'm going to show you how you can create the heads from your own images or from stock images, or you can do the characters if you want. And then you can also access their scenes. So I'm going to show you those right now. So if you go to scenes, you can search through them if you want. I just put in bobble. There you go. That's nice and easy. So we have all of these scenes that then you can just replace the heads and they're already formatted with all of the timings for the animations. So I'm actually going to download one of these so that we can use that. Oh, because I have one there. So I couldn't. There, I got to put it under there. So right here, I'll have a scene that then we can replace some of those images. I already did one. So I grabbed a lady in our stock. So if we go to media. And usually you're in your project or you might be in your global. You're going to go to stock. And then you can pick an, pick an image. So I did the lady. And now we're going to pick a man. I'm not going to pick this one. Remember, we can expand this. Because the top of his head, if I hover over it, the import button comes. The top of his head is a little bit cut off, so that's not going to work. This one, we've got the full face. So we're going to do this. Sorry, I moved the whole thing. Um, and so I hit import. So now that's going to be in my project folder right here. So I'm going to click and drag that to my canvas. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in a little bit. I'm going to go up here to the plus and I'm going to get my pen tool. Now you can also take it to an external background removal. Um, Canva has some of that in their magic, um, uh, magic lift or whatever they call it. They have one that works really well, but we're going to use the pen tool. So what you're going to do is grab the pen tool and then you're just going to start. I'm just clicking on my touchpad or with your mouse. And I'm just going around and I'm not going to worry about being too precise. Um, probably a lot of the time, but especially right now, because you guys don't want to watch me just doing this. So I'm just going to go around and around. And I don't want to say anything important because I might fast forward this depending on how long it takes. Um, but I'm just going to go around the face. Right here, I can tell I'm going too low. So, and once you go back and click on your first one, it's going to connect it. You see there's a black outline. Just click here. You can change it to a colored outline if you want. You can change the border width if you want but I just get rid of it. So I have no border, I have no color, and I just put the border width down to zero. Now I'm going to take the path and I can either just select them both or I can use my shift key and I'm gonna mask it. Oh, I guess I didn't do too bad. Let's see, if I change this to black, it might be bad. Yeah, it's not so great. Um, but if you need to go in to fix any of it, you're just gonna click on it And you can click it and drag it in. And you can get rid of some of that outline that was there. I'm not going to worry too much about being so wonderful on it right now. 
Now I just accidentally made a dot, so I'm going to exit the pen tool. I do that a lot, and then I'm just going to delete it because we don't need that. Now you can use it like this. You can size it. You can do all of that. But I do like to just publish it as a transparent image. And I can just do guy. And then I can bring it in to Create Studio. Okay, for whatever reason, when I click to drag and bring this in, my loom just quit on me. Maybe I have to update it. But anyway, so now I have this and I also uploaded the transparent paint. So you can do it either way that you want to do it. The reason that I, I can't do this and talk. The reason that I wanted it as a ping is because if we're using a template, then we want to be able to replace the image that's already in there. And you can't do that with something that you have on your timeline. It has to be in your media folder. So I'm going to get rid of the guy. I'm going to get rid of the woman that I did before. And I have my scene. So as you can see, I had uploaded the ping, the transparent ping I made from my pen work. Now I can just go in my scene. So here's the scene. And I can just go right in. Right here, I can replace the guy with the guy. I'm going to have to resize that, of course. And then I can click again and replace her with the woman. Now I can double click on this to get in there and just make her so she's a little bit bigger because that was a little small. And move the hat a little bit. There we go. Then with our guy, I can just double click, double click, and I can make him bigger. Now I double clicked one too many times, so let's go back to the group and see. I might make him a little bit bigger, double click on here, and you can just resize them to fit however you want them to fit. And then we can play. His crown's a little crooked, so we would have to fix that. But there you go. See how easy it is to fix that. And then you can even just go in here and you can change. Um, come to our bobblehead party. I don't know. I don't know who has a bobblehead party, but. And then I'm just going to make that too. You, I'm not going to show all of the ways that we can go in here and edit them, but you can come right in here. They're all in a bunch of groups, and you can just resize them as well from in here if you want, and then change all of the text, the color, the size, the font, anything that you want. I'm going to get rid of those. But that's how quick and easy it is to change the bobblehead. I have to fix the hat, the crown, because it's too big. Now, what you're going to see is now you don't have to set any of the timings. They're all in there. But let's look at what those timings are, right? So if we look at the woman with the face, this is a loop animation under motions and under loop. And they used the swing, which is the rotation. And if we click on this, we can see they're using the swing. The rotation is 21 
for 11 loops. That's affecting the head. The body is just an animation of that option that you chose. Now, maybe I don't want the rotation so much, so let's go down to seven. Now you see it's a little bit more subtle. I'm going to click on this so the menu comes up. We can make her go really crazy with 34. But here you can see her head is moving off the neck. So you would have to do some refixing. That doesn't really look good. So then let's go back. That was 21. So let's go to 24. And that, so I might move it over and see. That might work. But that's, the, that's all you have to do to change the scenes that you have. And 21, I did move the head a little bit, so um, it might be off from what that was. You can do the same thing with the guy. You click on it. That's also swing. If you go to motion and you go to loop and then say you go scale wouldn't make much sense, would it? Position, you can have it swing. Now we clearly don't want the movement all the way up there. So let's see if we do 13 and let's do a few. You know what? I actually like the Y better because that's like they're nodding up and down. And let's make that, let's see. His head's going a little slower than the spastic hands, but you can always make all of these changes to the templates themselves. So I would recommend if you're going to try to do a bobblehead, just go in and check out what the scenes are and then you can make them really easy. Let me go in one more time to show you characters. Go to bobblehead and you've got a clown, sausage, you've got a bride and groom in here. Here's the bride and groom. They do have different um, skin coloring, although with with my friend here, it didn't look so good because her hands, while it was a darker color, was not as dark as her skin color. So I did go in there and do color replace from the initial. And then I just went in here, I used the color picker and I used it from her face. So it gave it a little, it be, not that a bobblehead is realistic, but it did make it a little closer in color than the original, which was this one. And it just didn't, didn't look good. I didn't like that. So for National Bobblehead Day, I hope you choose to make a bobblehead.